So from a young age, I I always knew I was I was going to get a time with all of This was just a family thing we would go through. We just do it. I didn't have anyone before me to kind of bridge the gap and be directly connected to them. You know, I've got scars and tattoos on me. And one thing I know is I don't find you. You know, our mobile, as opposed to kin to me, is deep. Because we know that we carry out to you know, our fucking papa and anything that goes with that. It was like my own pathway my own journey to work out what I wanted, work out who I am, and to envision that within a tamuku. way that I described the pain of it, it was like a burning craft knife that was on fire. I didn't feel nervous about getting my tamoko because I was confident in the kaupapa, what I was embodying. It did feel like detailed cat scratches and in some part, I would admit, it actually felt like he was carving. something unique and something only given to Māori people. Uh, I know I got my time for the people that were most important to me were there during the process and so I take them with me wherever I go. All I can say is that your tūpuna and all those who I uh, was able to talk to and breathe the air with were part of that process. The weather has been inclement, you've gone to Potts Road, it's been raining, you've gone to different places, it's been cloudy, it's been overcast. And um, now today we're talking about it, the sun shining. I think that's a good sign. It is a biggie on cultural identity. It does reaffirm out to everyone out there and also to myself that I am Māori in the aesthetic sense. I am Tahana. I know who I am now. This is normal for us and what we did used to look normal by adorning ourselves with what was our art.